Dear students, welcome to my classroom. In previous class, we derived the formula to find the area of a triangle when the vertices of a triangle are given. In this class, we are going to learn a new concept which is very important in coordinate geometry and that is the sl slope of a line joining two points. Students, let P be any point on a straight line in the coordinate plane. So here we have the coordinate plane, x-axis, y-axis, and it's a graph. And these are the values on x-axis and y-axis. Now, L is a straight line and P is a point on the straight line. Observe here, P is the point and we can notice that the coordinates of P here, one and two and enter the coordinates of P in a table. Here, the coordinates of P are 1 and 2. X coordinate is 1 and Y coordinate is 2, isn't it? Now, P is moving along this line, like this. Now, the position of P is 2, comma 3. Again, enter these values in this table. Again, P is moving along the straight line. And now the coordinates are three comma four. And again, the same scenario. Now the coordinates are four and five. Now, comparing with first position, find the ratio of change in Y coordinate in and change in x-coordinate every time. In the first case, the coordinates are changed from 1, 2 to 2, 3. Now the change in y-coordinate by change in x-coordinate is 2 minus 1 by 3 minus 2. Comparing with first position only, not previous position, it come first position. So the ratio is 1 by 5. After P is moving to 3, 4, then comparing with first position, the ratio in change in Y and change in X is again is equal to 1 by 1. And after moving to 4, 5 also, the ratio is 1 is to 1. Here we can notice that the ratio between change in y and change in x remains always constant. Okay. So on a straight line, the ratio between change in y and change in x is always constant. And that ratio is called the slope of the line passing that two points. Okay, so in this way, the slope of a line joining two points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is equal to ratio in ratio between change in y and change in x. That is difference between y1 and y2 and difference between x1 and x2. So the slope of line passing through the points x1, y1 and x2, y2. We denote the slope by m here. So the slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. That is change in y coordinates by change in x coordinates. So simply we can say that the slope of the line joining two points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Or we can write it as y1 minus y2 by x1 minus x2 also. 
Okay. So here we have one more concept regarding to slope of a line. Let L be a line passing through P x one one and x two by two, like this. And we know that the slope of the line P q is y two minus y one by x two minus x one. Now draw the perpendiculars from P and Q on x axis like this. Sir, before that, uh, this, let the line intersecting x axis at A and it making an angle theta with the positive direction of x axis like this. The line is intersecting x axis at A and this line is making an angle theta with x axis. Now, Draw PB and QC perpendicular to x axis like this. Here PB and QC are perpendicular to x axis. Now we know that PB is equal to y1 and QC is equal to y2, isn't it? Now also draw PD parallel to x axis like this. <clears throat> Here PD is parallel to x axis. And the distance PD is equal to BC, which is equal to OC minus OB, which is equal to Y2 minus Y1. So from triangle APB, here from triangle APB, tan theta, we know that from trigonometry, tan theta is equal to opposite angle to theta by adjacent angle to theta. That is here tan theta is equal to PB by AB. Take it as equation one. Now, we have PD parallel to AC, BC, or AC. So as PD parallel to AC, the corresponding angles are equal. So that angle PAB is equal to angle QPD. So angle QPD is also equal to theta, like this. Now from this figure, we can observe that in these two triangles, in triangle PAB and triangle QPD, angle P is equal to angle A, and also angle D is equal to angle B is equal to 90 degrees. So by angle-angle similarity, the two triangles, triangle PAB and triangle QPD are similar. Now, we know that in similar triangles, ratio of corresponding sides is equal. So that PB by AB is equal to QD by PD. But already I explained that QD is equal to QC minus DC which is equal to y2 minus y1. Also, PD is equal to, PD is equal to BC, and BC is equal to OC minus OB, which is equal to x2 minus x1. Now, substitute these values in this PB by AB. Now, PB by AB equal to QD is equal to y2 minus y1, and PD is equal to x2 minus x1. Take it as equation 2. First, from first equation, we have PB by AB equal to tan theta. And from second equation, we have PB by AB is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So from these two, we can write y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 is equal to tan theta. But we know that this y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 is the slope of the line passing through the points x1, y1 and x2, y2. So here the tan theta is the slope of the line passing through p x1, y1 and q x2, y2. So here the theta is the angle made by the line with the positive direction of x axis. So when we know the angle made by a line with the positive direction of x axis, the theta then the slope of the line is tan theta. 
Okay, the slope of a line making an angle theta with the positive direction of x-axis tan theta. Okay, now let us do, let us solve the problems in exercise 7.4 based on this concept. Exercise 7.4, the first one, find the slope of the line passing through the given two points. First one, 4 comma minus 8 and 5 comma minus 2. So students, so we have the formula, the slope of the line passing through x1, y1 and x2, y2 is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So that the slope of the line passing through 4 comma minus 8 and 5 comma minus 2 is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1, where x1 comma y1 is 4 comma minus 8 and x2 comma y2 is 5 comma minus 2. So now substitute these values in this formula. So we get y2 minus y1, that is minus 2 of minus 8, minus 2 minus of minus 8 by 5 minus 4. So minus of minus is plus, so that we get minus 2 plus 8 by 1, that is 6. So the slope of the line passing through 4 comma minus 8 and 5 comma minus 2 is 6. And the next one is 0 comma 0 and root 3 comma 3. So slope of the line passing through the point 0 comma 0 and root 3 comma root 3 is the formula is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 where x1 y1 is 0 comma 0 and x2 y2 is root 3 comma 3. So that we get y2 minus y1 that is 3 minus 0 by x2 minus x1 root 3 minus 0 which is equal to 3 by root 3. But we can write 3 as root 3 into root 3. So by cancelling one root 3 in numerator and denominator we remain with 1 root 3. So the slope of the line passing through the point 0 comma 0 and root 3 comma 3 is root 3. Okay. And let us do the third problem. 2a comma 3b and a comma minus b. Okay. So slope of the line passing through 2a comma 3b and a comma minus b is y2 minus y1 is minus b minus 3b by x2 minus x1 is a minus 2a. So in that way we get minus 4b minus b minus 3b is minus 4b as well as a minus 2a is minus a. By cancelling minus in numerator and denominator we remain with 4b by a. So the slope of the line passing through 2a comma 3b and a comma minus b is 4b by a. Okay. Now, the fourth problem is a comma 0 and 0 comma b. This is also same procedure. So, slope is b minus 0 by 0 minus a. That is b by minus a and we write it as minus b by a. So, the slope of the line passing through a comma 0 and 0 comma b is minus b by a. Okay. And the next problem is a minus 1.4 comma minus 3.7 b minus 2.4 comma 1.3 so y2 minus y1 1.3 minus of minus 3.7 by x2 minus x1 minus 2.4 minus of minus 1.4 that is 1.3 plus 3.7 by minus 2.4 plus 1.4. And in numerator, 1.3 plus 3.7 is equal to 5. And in denominator, minus 2.4 plus 1.4 is equal to minus 1. So that 5 by minus 1, which is equal to minus 5. So that the slope of the line passing through given points is minus 5. Okay. So next problem. A 3 comma minus 2, B minus 6 comma minus 2. Here minus 2 written in next line. Correct that one. So here the slope is 0. So whenever 
here we can notice that whenever the y coordinate in given points are equal the slope becomes zero that means the line is parallel to x axis okay if we do you know if we plot these points in coordinate plane and by joining them we get a line parallel to x axis so slope of any line parallel to x axis is zero that's why here we get the slope as zero okay so simply uh, whenever the x coordinates whenever y coordinates are zero we can write the slope as zero directly okay and the next one is a minus 3 3 3 and half comma 3 and b minus 7 comma 2 and half so the slope of the line of which is passing through the given points is y2 minus y1 that is 2 and half minus 3 by x2 minus x1 minus 7 minus half minus 3 and half and we know that the difference between 2 and half and 3 is half so that 2 and half minus 3 is minus half by your minus into minus plus minus 7 plus 3 and half and the difference between 7 and 3 and half is 3 and half so that minus 7 plus 3 and half is minus 3 and half and we can write minus 3 and half as minus 7 by 2 like this when by cancelling minus in both numerator and denominator and 2 in numerator and denominator we remains with 1 by 7 so that the slope of the line passing through the given points is 1 by 7 okay so next problem a 0 comma 4 and b 4 comma 0 so here we get the slope as minus 1 therefore the slope of the line passing through the points 0 comma 4 and 4 comma 0 is minus 1 okay students so that is the chapter coordinate geometry in this chapter the distance formula section formula area of the triangle when three bits are given and the slope of the line passing through for uh, two points this concept that we have learned so these are very important topics in coordinate geometry and this chapter is very useful in higher classes also so you must learn this chapter very carefully okay student in next chapter sorry in next class we shall meet with a new chapter okay see you in next class bye